okay so my cinema 4d course is out now on udemy you can check it out the course link in the description and in this video we are going to watch the user interface introduction of cinema 4d from our course so without wasting any more time let's get started okay so welcome to this software now if you see properly this software is divided into separate separate sections and each and every section of the software is known as managers now the large canvas you can see over here is known as viewport whatever you are going to create it will appear in this viewport right now suppose if i click on this cube it will appear over here and with the help of this handles i can adjust this position of this cube now if you see the right hand side of this software which is divided into two parts first part is known as object manager and second part is known as attribute manager if i select this cube as you guys can see in this object manager i got this cube in the form of layer now suppose if i create another object like suppose if i created this pair as you guys can see we have another layer in the form of pair now if i want then you can, i can hide it and i can unhide it over in this object manager now if you see over here i'll get this four properties like basic coordinates object and form so these are basically attributes which is related to this pair if you go over this object you will get this option called radius and segments which is related to this pair but if i select this cube as you guys can see i'll get different object properties like size and segments so depends on our object you will get different different attributions like this so this is basically use of attribute manager and this is use of uh, object manager now if i select this cube as you guys can see the position size and rotation or properties over here are like this but if i select this pair as you guys can see the position values are different so this is known as coordinate manager which will show us exact coordinates of our selected object in our viewport after that you will get this blank space over here right now we have nothing over here but if i double click over here it will create one material and you can apply this material to this object so this portion of this software is known as material manager if you double click on it you can adjust whatever material you want like this and you can give whatever color you want to give to your object after that you will get this timeline you will get this option like play go one frame forward go one frame backward go to the last frame and go to the first frame and you can create keyframes also in this timeline and i'll hit ctrl z to undo this so this portion of this software is known as timeline which is useful for animation then after that uh, you will get this kind of tools over here which are useful to create certain animations and also to edit our objects after that you will get this main menu which will provide us some interesting options to create some amazing animations so this is just a basic introduction to our user interface of this software we will learn each and every one in depth in my further videos now we are gonna talk about views and navigations we will first start with the navigations whenever we talk about navigation there are basically three types of navigation panning zoom in zoom out and rotation now we can do this procedure with the help of numbers and with the help of alt click now first we will do with the numbers suppose if i press one on my keyboard and if i left click on it as you guys can see we can rot uh, pan this thing like this now i'm gonna press two and left click on my mouse I can simply zoom in zoom out like this then if I press 3 on my keyboard and left click I can rotate it so we can do panning zoom in zoom out and rotation with the help of 1 2 3 and left click now we will do all of these things with the help of alt now if I press alt on my keyboard and middle mouse button I can simply pan this if I press alt and right click I can do zoom in zoom out thing if i press alt and left click i can do rotations like this so with the help of alt click and our mouse uh, buttons we can do panning zoom in zoom out and rotation like this but this is with the help of our keyboards but cinema 4d already has given this some uh, uh, options over here also if you see over here we will get this option for panning if i click on it and if i move my mouse pointer i can move like this Similarly, we have one from zoom in zoom out. Also, we have one for rotation like this Now this is for the navigation like panning scale. I mean zoom in zoom out and rotation But there is uh, certain extra things that you should understand also now suppose I want to 
uh, tilt my camera so what we can do over here i can simply press 3 and i'll press right click so i can do something like this which is known as tilting our camera so the shortcut key for this is 3 and choose right click okay now i want to regain my original mo uh, what we call movement of my camera so for that what we can do i'll press ctrl shift z so now it will regain its original position you can do this n number of times press ctrl shift z again and again and again to get your original position like this now suppose i want to increase the focal length of this so for that what we can do i'll simply press 2 and right click so as you guys can see it will change the focal length of my camera like this so with the help of that you can do this kind of navigations i'll give you notes also so it would be easy for you to note it down and practice it after that okay now this is all about the navigations and the one thing is also remaining suppose if i zoomed out too much like this and uh, somewhere around over here let's say and now i want to focus on this object again so for that what i'm gonna do i'll simply press s on my keyboard so it will automatically come over here like this okay so with the help of that you can navigate this thing uh, like this now let's talk about this views if you see over here the we have one extra fourth option if i click on it i'll get this kind of thing this kind of thing is known as orthographic view now suppose if i go over here this is my perspective view and if i click middle click it will show me this again if i click middle click only so i'll get this kind of orthographic view now i suppose want to focus on this right view so what i'm gonna do i'll first select this and i'll click middle mouse button so it will focus on right view again if i click middle mouse button i'll go to the top view and i enable this one also so with the help of that middle mouse button you can uh, switch between this orthographic view and any view you want now suppose you want uh, to be in perspective view so shortcut key for perspective view is f1 and if you want to go further you can press f2 which is for top f3 which is for right view and f4 which is for front view and f5 for orthographic view uh, like this and if you want to maximize this or uh, perspective view you can simply go over here you can press either middle mouse button or you can simply press one also like this okay so this is how you can navigate things in cinema 4d